Good job, Ozzy. Yeah. That's right. Idris Elba. So right. Idris is always like, I tell you what, mate, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be one of those times where it seems like this paper here is always, you know, messing with me, but they mess with me. That is a guy. Iago. Okay. Off of a lad. I'm molting Jafar. <laughs> I, is this really? Do we really have to do this? I'm molting. I laughed so hard. The cab driver turned around like, what are you laughing at? <laughs> what? What is so funny? I was like, yo, Shaq just busted his ass. He was like, why did Shaq kill O'Neal busted his ass? I was like, yeah. He was like, let me see. And then he laughed. I was like, drive. Drive. <laughs> I was like, drive. You about to crash this. That was so funny. Oh. He just true. I can't believe it. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know what he'll have on in here. It's really good. I don't know, y'all. Sometimes I fall. You fall. We fall together. Sometimes I fall. Sometimes I don't fall. What are you doing every time? I, I missed the cue with Keenan like hit me. He was like, what do you think about that Shaq? I was like, I'm so sorry. I didn't even know what was going on. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive me. Shaq full potatoes. I like potatoes. Mm. He was like, yo, man. Look at Jay, man. Jay's doing an impression of us, man. And Eddie Murphy was like, I don't know if he sounds like me personally, but you know, he sounds just like Will Smith and Denzel Washington. It sounds just like those two. You know, when he talks like this and he's just normal and he's just, you know, con you know conversing with the people. I'm not going to say conversating because that's wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, conversating is wrong. People say that. It's like somebody saying I had an epiphany. It's like, what do you mean an, <laughs> mean an a, a, a epiphany? No, an epiphany. That sounds like a ghetto little sister. Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> First of all, let me get positioned in the right way. Because honest to God, honest to God, LeBron James did not get it done. Now, he did not have the help that he should have had. He did not have the help that he should have had. But when you have somebody like Stephen Curry, about as spicy as curry chicken, constantly shooting, and what's the and, and the, the rest of the team so hungry, what can LeBron do? Maybe LeBron should have done a blood oath or something like that. Maybe he should have done a blood oath to somebody to get some help. D-Wade was just watching his little brother die. He watched him die. He sat there and didn't do anything. And he was probably like, you shouldn't have left. And that's probably how he felt. But let's talk about LeBron James. It seems like ever since he's taken that headband off, I don't know what the hell is happening. It's just the headband has the power. It's just like when you're watching Power Rangers and when Tommy was the Green Ranger, he had the vest on. When he took it off, he lost his power. I feel like LeBron James needs to put the headband back on. Now, it might take out some of the hair plugs. It might because we know he has plugs. That's what he does. He's got the implants. He took it from the back of his neck and he put it in the front. That's what happens when you want it. Jamie Foxx, same thing. But all I'm saying is if he puts that back on, he can get it done. How the hell? Sorry, excuse my language. How the hell are you going to go to a finals two times? Two times and lose twice in a row. Think about that. Think about that. Think about having a bad chick, a beautiful woman. And she lets you fornicate. And you finish early two times. <laughs> you have lost. And she's not going to give you another chance to go back. I don't know if LeBron James is going to go back to the championships now. Finally, I mean, somebody might go back. I mean, yeah, yeah, you probably have a better chance of, of, of Shaquille O'Neal going back to the championship for LeBron James. But all I'm saying is this. LeBron is a dear, dear friend of mine. That's all I'm saying. One time I breastfed him off my very teat. <laughs> And he liked it. But besides the fact, all I'm saying is he needs to resurface, reconstruct the whole team, even though everybody was injured. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, Kyrie Irving, everybody was out. It seemed like it, it looked like a whole bunch of handicaps out there. That's what it was. J.R. Smith, as soon as J.R. gets in, he shoots the ball. He misses it. Come on, J.R. Stop taking so many shots. J.R. Smith takes more shots than the American sniper. <laughs> And it's just, and to me, I feel like they need to reconstruct. It's no, it was ridiculous. <laughs> it was blasphemous. How dare you? No one helped him. He was sitting there all alone by himself. It was almost as if there was a spotlight on him while he was running to the basket. Nobody was there. And nobody helped him. He needed to call 1-877-CARS-FOR-KIDS. K-A-R-S, CARS for kids. 1877 cars for kids to help LeBron today. Bow. Cat Williams. Yeah. 
Excuse me, Pippin. <laughs> now, first of all, what we going to do is we going to get on Periscope and we going to let everybody see me do Cat Williams in this raggedy bitch this evening. <laughs> because, sir, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, sir, the only thing it is, sir, I like Tennessee. Why Tennessee got some of the best butt I've ever experienced in my life. You will be satellite high. I'm talking about looking down at galaxies and seeing the Milky Way without any candy bars and just being, Lord, I don't want to be here, Jesus. All of a sudden, you just so damn high because you in Nashville, Tennessee, and y'all's country, so y'all lace it with whatever you want to. How the hell do you lace some weed with some damn cognac? That's just, just amazing. You sitting there, you... You just sitting there, you high, you high and drunk at the same damn time. How the hell is you high and drunk at the same damn time? You sitting there, your head spinning, you puking at the same time. You can't even enjoy all the food you done had because you just, you just throwing all up and you just on the toilet, did that cold toilet. You just like, you know what? I'm too high and I'm too drunk, but Jesus, please get me out of this. Lord, would you please get me out of this? I'm your humble servant. I will never, ever smoke a drink again. And then you feel like that until you get sober. And then you like, you know what? I think it's time to get messed up once again. And that's what you do the next night. He said, that young gentleman on Saturday Night Live that impersonates me, I think he does a good damn job, sir. That's what he does, boo-boo. He does a good damn job impersonating me. Now, a few years ago, I was on Tiny Chat, and he did not like it. He said, sir, do you know my babies, you ignorant son of a bitch, you? Do you know my baby, sir? Sir, what you need to do is actually get somebody you actually sound like, because that's what you need to do in this raggedy bitch this evening. Do you know my babies, sir? How the hell you supposed to be me and I'm me? That ain't pimping whatsoever.